Hey everyone, Rick here. It's been a while since I dropped a video. I figured I'd give you guys an update. Um, last going off, uh, as you all know, the dry shaft and the pig was getting really bad. Um, going down the road was was exceptionally bad because of the vibrations and whatnot. Super noisy. Off-road, not so bad, but if I drive on the road and it's snowy, I have to have it in four-wheel drive. It just it won't go anywhere. It's just sideways all the time. So my girlfriend ordered a dry shaft uh, for me for a Christmas present. Thanks, honey. Um, it showed up today. Uh, it was supposed to be here a week ago, Monday. It was supposed to be here. Uh, weather delays. We've had a few storms and whatnot, um, but it finally showed up. UPS dropped it off today. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to do a little unbox video here and show you guys what I got. All right, so this is her here. Box took a little bit of damage, but like I say, it was a, over a week overdue, so it's been beating around in the truck and at the depot and whatnot. Kind of a rough life for it so far. So I'm going to pop this thing open and have a look at it. And uh, hopefully everything's fine in there. It's metal, so it should be good. Okay, so this is what was in the box. Spare U joint. This is what it looks like. Semi opened up. I pretty much got the exact same dry shaft that I did the last time I ordered. Uh, I know I said I was going to go with uh, high angle drive line this time, but uh, I changed my mind and went back to Tom Woods. The other shaft I got 10 years out of it. It's a great piece. Um, so I'm going to go with this again. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's 1310 U-joints. I thought about upgrading to 1350, but there's no real need. This is the only joint that I ever lose, and it doesn't happen too often. Um, so yeah, I got a spare U-joint with it. Uh, I got a dust collar this time, uh, instead of the boot and the grease nipple for that. Um, yeah, got a few stickers, which is always kind of neat. I like stickers. Uh, bolts for the card in. A little grease tool for lubing the ball up in here. Yeah, so big thanks to, uh, Tom Woods for supplying me with this again. Uh, hopefully I get another 10 years out of this one of beating and pounding and abuse. So yeah, I'm super stoked about getting this. Um, obviously the next step is to get it installed and try it out. See how smooth it is. Should be a lot better. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll throw that in the pig and uh, give it a shot. So I know you guys have all heard the saying, it's always something. Well, last night, I went to take a drive and my dry shaft fell out. <laughs> the hubs were locked in, but it wasn't in four wheel drive. So it rattled and then yeah, it came disconnected. Normally I wouldn't care because I do have a new dry shaft going in. It's gotta come out anyway, but the crap part is, is I need it hooked up at both ends in order to get the bolts loose. So once I fix that, I can put the new dry shaft in and uh, be good to go. So I've almost got the shaft out. Just got one bolt left. It's kind of a bitch to get in there and get at those ones. One neat feature though, the new shaft, they sent me these bolts. They're a 5 16 head, nice and tiny. They stick out a ways, got this nice ridge on them. So, when they go back in, it should be easier. The wrench is smaller, easier to deal with. The biggest problem within here is you got no throw, right? You got to put such a short wrench on it, it's hard to get it tight. So, these will be a, a welcome change. So, that's it's kind of nice of Tom Woods to send those in, new bolts with it. Thanks for that, buddy.
Okay, you guys, dry shaft is in. Uh, looks good. The only real issue that I had was one of the bolts up in here it was a little tight going in. It's hard to get lined up. I just put a pry bar on it, turned the wrench on it a couple times, and it grabbed, and I threaded it in from there. So other than that, went good. Now time to take it for a little rip just to see how it sounds and how good it flows. That's a good sign, there's no noise. No clunking. Normally when I would go downhill on the D-cell, low range first gear, it would clunk. So, it was obviously in the dry shaft. So now we don't have that problem. Well, that's great. One more thing down and a bunch more to go. So something else I wanted to add to this video. Um, last night I happened to pick up a set of tires for the truck. Uh, the pigs got new rubber, lots of tread on them. They're like new, not brand new. Um, my friend Zach decided to yard sale his rig, which is it's unfortunate. I was. Really looking forward to him getting it finished so that we could go touring together. But uh, anyway, he offered these to me, so I said, hell yeah. And they're 42 by 15 on a 17, which means I have to buy rims. Uh, I've already ordered them. They're on their way. Hopefully they'll be here in the next within the next week. But yeah, tons of tread on these. Uh, this should be a welcome addition to the to the truck and, and give me lots of traction. It's been a long time since I had this much tread on a tire, so 
looking forward to getting out and trying that so that'll probably be the next video getting these things mounted and uh and then taking them out for a rip